very much, Mr. Mayor, Mayor Regalado, and Superintendent Carvalho, Public Defender Martinez. I, I think it's incredibly important to highlight the broad range of support that we have for this common sense reform, not just in our community, but across the country. Mayor Regalado is a Republican. Mr. Martinez, the public defender, is a Democrat. I'm a Democrat. Chief Curley is here from law enforcement, the superintendent of schools, across the range of philosophy and across the range of government. Across the range of this country, we have support to, for common sense gun control reform. I'm so proud to stand here with Mayor Regalado and with mayors against illegal guns to highlight the critical need to combat trafficking in illegal guns and keep guns out of the hands of violent criminals and those who are mentally unfit. Law enforcement is far from immune from this violence. This past January, two of Miami-Dade's finest police officers were killed in a shootout with a felon who should never have had access to a gun. Veteran detectives 41-year-old Roger Castillo and 44-year-old Amanda Howard were killed trying to bring in a fugitive wanted for murder. Now, while we likely cannot end all gun violence, we certainly can do much, much better. We have laws on the books designed to keep guns out of the hands of those who should not have them. We just need to close the loopholes and improve the information available to law enforcement. Ninety percent of Americans, this is a factual statistic, ninety percent of Americans, conservatives, liberals, people in the center, believe that a simple background check should be required of anyone making a firearm transaction. This proposal is the most common sense, simple thing that we can do that has the most universal agreement across the country from every end of the political spectrum, and it is something that we need to do in short order. Thank you, Mayor Regalado, for your incredible leadership on this issue, for your bravery. Omaha Samaha, thank you for literally living your sister's legacy and memory every single day. It is incredibly important and incredibly brave. Thank you, and on behalf of Mayors Against Illegal Guns, Thank you for the opportunity to bring this message to South Florida and to everyone in Congress. We can't bring back those who we've lost, but we can honor them by doing everything that we can to keep guns out of the hands of those who shouldn't have them and not lose anyone else. Thank you so much.